So I'm going to demonstrate how to make one of these mason jar omelets. And I'm just going to make one today uh, because we already have a whole bunch of them prepped. So I'm going to use two eggs. And I'm not going to, of course, use the whole pepper. And as you can see, I'm just going to use a little bit of onion here. So let's go ahead and cut our pepper. I'll just set that aside. And the size that I want to achieve for my omelet is approximately these little bite-sized pieces because we want them to cook quickly because this is a meal prep meal. All right, let's go ahead and just chop these up. Nice little bite-sized pieces. There we go. Probably a little bit more. Think about enough for one omelet, two eggs, and I'm gonna also be adding in onions and spinach. So let's go ahead and just say, that's a good amount of peppers for my one omelet. If I wanted to, I could use up the rest of that, or we'll find something else to use that in. And again, let's do some onion, give it some flavor. And I want the onions to be bite-sized. I like onions, so I'm going to add maybe just a little bit more. There, there we go. And then I have my spinach, which is here. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add a little olive oil to a pan so that I can fry that up. Just want to drop those in there. And normally I would heat my pan up, but I'm trying to give you the idea of what I'm gonna do here. Get all my onions and peppers into that pan. We're gonna fry those up in just a moment. In the meanwhile, we're gonna take each egg and we're gonna go ahead and crack them and put them into a small bowl first, and then add them into our mixing bowl. And the reason why we do that is you have no idea of uh, knowing other than the date on your carton of eggs, uh, how old these eggs are. And again, um, even with that, how do you know somebody didn't replace the egg or, or do something else with it or it's just a bad egg to begin with? So if you always make it a habit to just put the eggs in one little bowl first when you're making anything and then add them to the second bowl, you don't uh, run the risk of ever getting a contaminated egg. And we're just gonna whisk these up. If you want salt or pepper, now would be a good time to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. However, you could always add it later. I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, onions and peppers and my spinach and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right onto the stove for a minute. You can cook these ahead of time, have them in your fridge if you're making something else. You'll be able to keep that in your refrigerator for up to two days, two days. Um, you don't wanna keep eggs that you've already taken out of the shell and mixed up any longer than that. Um, it's different if they're hard boiled, if they're cooked, but let's go ahead and pop this little mason jar omelet right into my microwave. But you, it wouldn't hurt to put a little paper towel over the top of it like that. Just set something over the top. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got here, just so you can kind of have an indication of what this looks like. See? All right, as you can see, on the top it started to cook a little bit. And we're just going to give it a little stir, just like you would give to your... Like you would give to your um, scrambled eggs. Let's put it back in. Put that little paper towel over it. And I'm going to set the timer for 30 seconds, but I don't think I'm going to give it a full 30. I'm going to check it now at 21. And look how high that expanded up. Is that not beautiful? That's why you don't fill your egg all the way up in the jar. And look, you have a beautiful mason jar omelet. Let's bring this over here so we're in the good light so that I can kind of give you some indication of how fluffy this is. All right, there you have it. Mason jar omelet, ready to go. And again, these jars work really well. You can carry these to work. 
um, or wherever you might be going, school or wherever you're going, um, in these glass containers, as long as you're not, um, you know, a child not being allowed to take glass, but um, adults can take this and carry that in their lunchbox and then go ahead and make these in the microwave at work. By the way, those vegetables cooked for a total of five minutes if I didn't tell you that before. So I would pre-cook my vegetables. That way in the morning, you saw how fast this went. I could have pulled this out of the refrigerator, popped that in the microwave, walked out the door. All right, thanks for watching.